Welcome back to Info Squad, where information equals freedom. What if someone in your family or someone you knew learned to fly a plane, and then all of a sudden you just understood how to fly a plane without ever having a lesson or being in an airplane? Our gut reaction to this is to say that's impossible. But is there any evidence that something like this is indeed possible? Is there something like the wireless internet that connects our minds? There are several theories and research papers that attempt to explore this idea. One of these theories is called the 100th Monkey Syndrome, and it actually has quite a bit of evidence documented to support such a claim. In 1952, Japanese scientists were observing a tribe of monkeys on the island of Koshima. The species is known as the Makake Fuscata, also known as the snow monkey. They were providing the monkeys with sweet potatoes, which they just put on the ground. As the scientists were observing the monkeys, they noticed that one monkey had learned to wash the sand off of the potato before eating it. These scientists continued to observe the monkeys for six years. Over this time, more and more monkeys were learning to wash the potatoes before eating them. By 1958, a decent amount of monkeys had learned to wash their potatoes. But what happened next caught the scientists by surprise. What they estimated to be the 100th monkey had learned to wash his potato. Then, within the next 24 hours, the entire tribe of monkeys were washing their potatoes before eating them. It was as if the 100th monkey tipped the scales of conscious understanding and suddenly the whole tribe understood how to wash their potatoes. After taking four years for nearly 100 monkeys to learn this task, it only took one night for the rest of the population to pick up this behavior. What surprised the scientists even more is that the other tribes of monkeys were suddenly washing their potatoes too. Even the tribes that had never washed their food and were separated by the ocean on different islands and in some cases on the mainland, they too were washing their potatoes. This led the scientists to theorize that there was some sort of conscious connection that the monkeys were sharing. This study has been heavily debated since it was released. But is it really so hard to believe? Just look at migration. Monarch butterflies are a multi-generational migratory insect. This means that the adults never make it to the final destination. Only their offspring actually arrive. There are birds that migrate to islands in the Pacific to breed. And only their offspring migrate back. Their young are born with the knowledge of migration and where to go. There are several species in the animal kingdom that display similar traits. It is very common among insects who think with a hive mind. So if there really is something like a wireless internet for consciousness that allows species to transfer knowledge over great distances with no physical communication, what happens when that species is systematically dumbed down? Does that too get transferred along to the other members of that species? Would it slow down intellectual progression or even prevent new discoveries? What do you think? Could there be some sort of unseen connection between conscious minds? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below.